Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how can I find the area of a composite figure that involves an overlapping or a shaded region? So remember, composite figures are irregular 2D figures made up of basic shapes. They can include overlapping or shaded regions, such as these figures right here. So follow the steps below to find the area of composite figure with shaded regions. We will want to find the area of each shape and then we will subtract the smaller area from the larger area in order to find the area of the shaded region. So let's look at this first one right here. I'm gonna shade the two shapes that I see. So first of all, I see this larger rectangle that I'm shading in blue. And then I see this smaller trapezoid that I'm going to shade in pink. So what I want to do is find the area of the rectangle, the blue rectangle, and then I will subtract the pink trapezoid area from it, and that will leave me with this shaded region that the problem was asking me to find in the first place. So let's start by finding the area of the rectangle by doing the base times the height. And the base of the rectangle was 24, and the height of the rectangle was 18. So to find the area of this rectangle, I would do 24 times 18. So the area of that rectangle is 432 meters squared. So this bigger rectangle has an area of 432 meters squared. Now I want to find the area of this trapezoid. So to find the area of a trapezoid, I would do base one plus base two times the height and then divide by two. So this base down here is going to be the same as this length, which is 24 meters. So my first base is 12, the second base is 24, and that forms a right angle with 14, which will be the height. So to find the area of the trapezoid, we will do 12 plus 24 times the height of 14 and then divide by two. So to find the area, we would do 12 plus 24, which is 36 times 14 all over two. So the first thing I need to do is 36 times 14. And I get that 36 times 14 is 504. So now I need to do 504 divided by 2, and 504 divided by 2 is 252. So the area of the trapezoid that I shaded pink and now looks purple is 252 meters squared. So now to find the area of the shaded region, I'm going to do 432 minus 252. and I get 180 meters squared for the area of the shaded region. Okay, let's look at number two. I need to find the area of the shaded region. So the larger basic shape that I see is this rectangle that I'm shading in blue. So I'll first need to find the area of this blue rectangle. And after I find that, I will subtract the area of this pink triangle from it. So let's start by finding the area of the rectangle. To find the area of a rectangle, we do base times height. The base of the rectangle is eight, and the height of the rectangle is 12. So to find the area, I would just do eight times 12, which is 96 centimeters squared. So the area of this rectangle is 96 centimeters squared. Now I need to find the area of the triangle. To find the area of a triangle, I would do base times height divided by two. 
The base of this triangle is six and the height is four since those form a right angle. So to find the area of the triangle, I would do six times four divided by two, which is 24 divided by two. So the area of the triangle is 12 centimeters squared. So to find the area of the shaded region, I would do 96 minus 12. And 96 minus 12 is 84. So the area of the shaded region is 84 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number three. I need to find the area of the shaded region. So I see a larger circle. So I'll find the area of this blue circle that has a diameter of 10. And then after I do that, I will subtract the area of this triangle from it. Let's start by finding the area of the circle. To find the area of a circle, we're gonna do pi r squared. So I need the radius, which they did not give me, but they did give me the whole way across the circle, which is the diameter. So if the diameter is 10, the radius is 10 divided by two, which is five. So to find the area of the circle, I'll do 3.14 times five times five. Five times five is 25. So to find the area of the circle, I'll do 3.14 times 25. So the area of the circle is 78.5 yards squared. Now I just need to find the area of the triangle. And to find the area of a triangle, I'm gonna do the base times the height divided by two. So it looks like the base of the triangle is 10. And this distance right here, it's going from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. So that's the radius, which is half of the diameter. And we already found the radius when we found the area of the circle, so it is five. So five yards is the height of this triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do the base of 10 times the height of five and then divide by two. So that would be 50 divided by two, which is 25. So the area of the triangle is 25 yards squared. So now to find the area of the shaded region, I would do 78.5 minus 25. And I get that the area of the shaded region is 53.5 yards squared. All right, let's look at number four. It says find the area of the shaded region. It looks like I have a quarter circle So I'll find the area of the circle and then divide it by four. And then within it, I have a little square with sides of four. So after I find the area of the quarter circle, I'll subtract the area of this square from it. So let's start by finding the area of the quarter circle. I'll have to find the area of a full circle and then divide by four. And I find the area of a circle by doing pi r squared. They didn't give me the radius, but this distance would be the radius, which is four and six. So 10 feet is the radius. So to find the area of the full circle with a radius of 10, we will do 3.14 times 10 times 10, which is 3.14 times 100. So the area of the full circle is 314. But remember, this is a quarter circle, so I want a fourth of that, so now I'm gonna to have to do 314 divided by four. So 
So the area of the quarter circle is 78.5 feet squared. So I found the larger area. It's 78.5 feet squared. Now I just need to find the area of this square, which I'll find by doing base times height. And both of those side lengths are four, so the area of the square would be four times four. So the area of the square is 16 feet squared. So now to find the area of the shaded region, I would do 78.5 minus 16. And 78.5 minus 16 is 62.5 feet squared. Okay, let's look at number five. I want to find the area of the shaded region, which is two squares within this larger square. So let's find the area of this larger square first by doing 16 times 16. So the area of the larger square is base times height, which is 16 times 16. So the area of the larger square is 256. And then from it, I want to subtract these two smaller squares, which are going to be eight by eight, which means that they are both 64. So now I just have to subtract both of those from 256. So the area of the shaded region is 128 inches squared. Let's look at number six, it says find the area of the shaded region. So I'm gonna find the area of this larger rectangle. And from it, I will have to subtract one, two, three of the circles from it. And that will leave me with the area of the shaded region. So let's start by finding the area of the rectangle just by doing base times height, which would be 12 times four. So the area of the rectangle is 48. So I have the area of the larger rectangle, it is 48. Now I need to find the area of one of the squares. I can tell that the diameter of the square is four, which means the radius is half of that, so the radius is two. So I'm gonna find the area of one of the circles by doing pi r squared, where the radius is two. So I'll do 3.14 times two times two, or 3.14 times four, and 3.14 times four is 12.56. So the area of one of the circles is 12.56, but there are three of them. So to find their total area, I need to multiply this by three. The area of all the circles is 37.68, and now I'm going to subtract that from the area of the rectangle, which was 48. So I need to do 48 minus 37.68. So the area of the shaded region is 10.32 meters squared. 